We are ready to go. Ready. It's morning. We packed, made breakfast, got everything we need. David, can you put this in your bag and I will take it later. Can you read what did what did you say? Hooked. Hooked. Interesting. The manipulation matrix. I just dropped my kids off to school. It's a busy day, I have a lot of appointments. And we are going on an excursion to an island more about that later but in our episode today we'll talk about social media and electronic devices welcome back on our journey to live a better more meaningful life through good habits and systems by decreasing suffering it's important to get a grip on our addiction to social media and electronic devices and I'm reading the perfect book for this channel one that speaks about electronic devices and habit forming it's this one here, Hooked, how to build habit forming products. Now the author Neil Eyal structures his book according to James Clear's four steps to implement a habit, cue craving response reward. He names them a bit differently and I will describe those four steps that Neil Eyal describes in his book in regards to products in a different video because today I would like to talk with you about the last chapter of this book. On my journey through this book, I always ask myself, is it ethical to make habit forming products? Products that hook us, that make us use them more often and more regularly like addicts do? Well, in those, that chapter, he designs a manipulation matrix, which says the following. So the manipulation matrix has basically four sections. One asked if the product materially improves our lives or does not improve our lives. And the other two asked if the designers would use their app or would not use their app. And so the four sections are the following. The Peddler is the probably the optimal app. It's an app that materially improves our lives and designers would use it. I'm thinking about meditation apps, the calendar app, meal prepping app, and many apps, a reminders app, a to-do list, things like that. That's bad, my camera just fell, and my book fell too. Oh man, all good. So second, in the manipulation matrix, the facilitator, which is someone who designs a product that improves our lives but would not use it themselves. There were discussions about the iPhone at some point. Would the designers of the iPhone use it? Would they give the phone to their kids or not? That's a good, interesting question. Then you have the entertainer, which obviously designs a product that does not really directly improve our lives, but it's good to have it like fun hey and lastly the dealer which designs a product that neither improves our lives nor would they use it themselves which is just pure addiction forming bad habits that's how you get hooked so there we have it a manipulation matrix to check if products are getting us hooked i suggest if you have a product that feels like uh, hooked product, something that hooked you in, that formed habits, maybe you put it into this matrix and ask yourself, is it something that improves your life, that the designers use? If not, you know what to do. And if it is, good on you. Enjoy using it.